Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today is the first one of 2022 and uh, this one is all about Drayton Manor and because they have been doing another teaser campaign around their 2022 edition. Now we do have some information from the website to share with you as well and we're also going to share with you uh, a little bit more and give you a recap if you're new around here about what the rumour was according to my inside information source um, sort of portfolio. So. Before we get started, guys, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Uh, make sure you go and do the so social media links in the description down below and also the Google Forms link where you buy on the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's talk about Drayton Manor and the Vikings invading in 2022. So something is invading in 2022 and you can sign up for more information via the Drayton Manor website. Now of course the new trailer is a bunch of numbers before invading 2022 appears on screen. But just what are Drayton Manor planning? Well I've already told you in previous updates. We are expected to see three brand new attractions, a George's Dinosaur Adventure type ride, a Zampola Nebulas and a Zampola Mega Disco. Along with all that the re-theme of the Buffalo Roller Coaster and perhaps the Vertigo attraction included in the admission price rather than as a separate ticket attraction is also expected and then we're finally going to be expecting a brand new roller coaster the following year in 2023 which will sit on the site of the apocalypse the pandemonium and also the test track uh, little kids gaming rides so obviously 2023 is still a year away so we still have to look forward to that uh, but it's like the first phase the viking village as it's named uh, which is set to be officially announced uh, later this year now obviously this is a very exciting project and I'm about to share my thoughts on exactly what's going on. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about the brand new Invading 2022 teaser campaign that's been ramping up at Drayton Manor. Now, obviously, this is about the new Viking Village, this brand new uh, themed section of the park where the old triangles used to be, sort of where people predicted there could be a second entrance to the park. Um, where Vertigo is, where the Buffalo Coaster is, around that area of the park. And um, this could be a really exciting area for the theme park. And I've already spoken about this. I think this could be a brilliant new section of the theme park. Um, for me, I feel like the range of attractions for this line could be amazing. It could be really promising from a target audience point of view. Uh, with the brand new coaster coming the following year as well, or expected to come to the following year as well. Talking with different manufacturers. For me, I feel like this could be brilliant. Um... Drayton Manor for me has been an ever-growing theme park ever since the Looping Group bought the park just a year or two ago and they've really ramped up the developments inside that theme park right from that video that I made when I said Drayton Manor is officially in administration. You know, we thought this was, this was the end of Drayton Manor. We thought this was the end and then the Looping Group came in, bought the place and is turning it around year by year promising multiple investments we can we, we knew from the start pretty much but we now know if it wasn't already known Drayton Manor is the capital park for the looping group it is the main it's like Six Flags Magic Mountain to Six Flags it is like Cedar Point and Kings Island to Cedar Fair it's the capital theme park for investment it's the number one theme park um, they do own other theme parks as well but for me this is the big one the big park out of all of them owned by the company so I'm truly behind this project and I really can't wait to see what happens. So, there we are guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell. Keep it on the Coast of Life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have a great and fantastic day. The Vikings are invading.